Hi, everybody. My name is Mr. D, and it's time for another craft with the library. And today, we're going to be showing you how to make a straw sculpture. Oh, see this guy? Yeah. So, how what you need to make this craft is a couple things. You're going to need something to hold your sculpture, like a paper plate or a paper towel, pretty much anything work for that. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of clay or Play-Doh or really anything that you can use as a base to stick your pipe cleaners in. Which brings me to my next point. You'll also need a couple of pipe cleaners. And you'll need some pieces of straw. And now it can be any kind of straw and you need some pretty small pieces. See, this one here. And, but colored straw does stand out more if you have that. And that's about it. Uh, you might want to grab a pair of scissors in case you need to cut up some bigger straws first. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make our clay or Play-Doh or whatever you have into a little flat piece like this. And that's going to be the base for your straw sculpture. Okay. Next, you're going to take one of your big pipe cleaners. And go ahead and bend one end of it just a little bit. See how I did here? And then you're going to start putting pieces of straw on. And you want to put enough to cover almost the entire pipe cleaner. And this may take a second. Now, if you want to, you can do like a little pattern. I'm just kind of putting on random pieces right now. So if you like certain colors, you know, by all means, go ahead and use those. And if you only have white straws, uh, you can paint your straw pieces or Color them with markers, although it doesn't work quite as well as just using some colored straw pieces. All right, so we're almost done with this piece. It takes a lot of these little straw pieces to uh, get this done. So you want to make sure that you have plenty of straw pieces before you get started with this. So you don't have to stop and go get some more. All right, and when you're done covering the entire piece, you can bend the other end like so, so you, pieces do not fall off. Now the next step, and it, this is how you make a person's straw sculpture is you want to bend it around like this. Let's see if you can see a little bit better. There you go. And then twist the straws around. Your pipe clean piece the size of the pipe clean around each other so that you end up with this. So you just twist it around so you make like a little head shape at the top. And these are your legs. So you want to stick your legs into the clay base so it stands up. Okay. Now next we're going to move this off to the side briefly. And you want to grab a pair of scissors and you're going to make Cut your pipe cleaner into two, so first you can bend it in half. 
And then go ahead and cut that. And you only need one of these for this particular one. So you set one to the side. And just like with your big piece, you want to bend the end of the pipe cleaner a little bit. And then go ahead and stick some straw on there. All right. And you can tell that I'm still picking those random pieces. Okay. All right, so once you have your piece, you can bend the other end like so, so that you have your arm piece. Okay, so let's get our body back. And you want to take your arm piece and bend it around. the top part of the straw piece is right below the little head so that it makes little arms. See? So yeah, well, so when you're done, you'll end up with something similar to what I showed you at the beginning. And now that you know the basics, you don't have to stick with just a straw person. You can also make some simple shapes like this ring here, or even something unique. And I think that this was inspired by a Tim Burton movie, but anything you want to make, you know, be creative and have fun with it. And that's all we have for our craft today. I'll see you later and hope you tune in next time. Hi everybody, it's Mr. D again. And today we've got another library craft for you. Uh, today's craft is going to be a little paper cup, paper flower bouquet. Now, what you're going to need for this one is preferably a styrofoam cup, although you can make it work with a paper cup. You're going to need a sheet of paper. It's a little easier to work with white paper. You're going to need some pipe cleaners about this big and you'll need about I say six to eight of these okay. you'll need some crayons and some markers Although if you only have crayons or markers, you can just stick with one of those. And you're going to need some tape, some scissors, and something to trace with like a pen or a pencil. And this is optional, but it might help if you have some glue. All right, well, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is color your cup. And I'm not gonna actually color mine because it takes a really long time. But once you're done, it'll look something like this. See? I can got a little brown for dirt on top. Okay. Well, the next thing you're going to do is make your flowers. Now, this is 
where I said you needed the bottle cap. And you can get this off pretty much anything, though most of you probably get off like a water ball or something. And you're gonna lay it down on the paper and then trace around the bottle cap. Okay. And when you're done tracing, you'll have like a little circle. Then you're gonna draw some petals around the circle and you can make them as big or small as you want. The ones you saw in my example earlier are pretty small, but you can make them pretty big. Okay, so once we get all the petals drawn, it'll look something like this. Okay. And then you're gonna cut it out. Again, I'm not gonna do that right now because it takes a long time. But I will show you one that I colored and cut out already. See here? And I didn't mention earlier, but it may be easier for you if you color the flower and then cut it out. But once you have the flower cut out, what you're gonna do is take one of your pipe cleaners and you might wanna straighten it out just a little bit. And then you're going to get some tape. And you just want a little piece of tape. And you lay down the pipe cleaner on the back of the flower. So, kind of like this. Right. And then you're going to tape the pipe cleaner onto the flower. Alright, so when you're done with all the coloring, cutting out, and the taping, you should have a flower that looks kind of like this. Okay. And then you're going to take the flower and put it, stick it into the top of your cup. And this may take a few tries. It can be a little tricky. Oh, actually, it went pretty smoothly that time. Good. And then when you're done sticking all your flowers in, you got your bouquet. All right, pretty cool, huh? And oh, I forgot to mention one thing. When you're coloring your flowers, if you use markers for that, it helps the colors pop out a little more and seem a little more vibrant. Well, that's all we have for today. Uh, see you next time, and I hope you join us for another craft.